Good morning. So I'm doing a steampunk small canvas artwork today and I'm literally using some old bits that I've got hanging around that I need to get rid of. Got some very nice little bits as you can see. That's from Stamperia and some laser cut wood shapes and I'm going to start with my stencil and my homemade texture paste. This one's smooth and I only use that for, there you are, so I only use that for stenciling, there's my paste, nice and smooth. comes up lovely and thick. So all my texture paste is made of is PVA glue talcum powder and a small bit of black acrylic paint. And you mix it up and it's lovely and smooth as you can see. Perfect. Perfect and not expensive. That's what we like. I do love my big letter stencil that I've got here. Right, that would do. Let's put that over there. Actually, let's add some more. Let's add some, um, let's add a number. And that one. There you go, perfect. Right, I'm just gonna go and dry that now. Okay, now I'm going to add my texture paste, which has got gravel in it, PVA glue, and I think I put a tad of water in it, and my black acrylic. So you've got, and I just stipple it on with an old brush. Cheap way of making it look very, very old and rusty. That's the look we want. In the corners. Lovely. Lovely use of old scraps today. Gonna dry it now, back in a minute. So this is the fun part, glue everything on top of the, of the canvas. I've got some laser cut MDF, um, which is quite thick, and it adds to the 3D dimensional look, um, which I love, and I want it quite deep. So that's the first layer. I've used my favorite Gorilla Glue to stick the wood onto the canvas. And when the glue's dry, I need to paint this all black and then we start building up and assembling everything together. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, assemblage time, the best part. So, here we go. With my glue, some old wings that I found. Just dab where 
the wood is basically. Doesn't take long at all, does it? To make some ink look really good. Add a couple of cogs, let's get some smaller ones. And not forgetting everything gets painted black when the glue dries. I'm using these, I love these. Just leave it as that otherwise you could it could be too busy and could make it a little a little too full bearing in mind you want to see a lot of black and rust underneath i'll just put you in there i like you there you go perfect that's finished and now the waiting to dry time. Okay, I'll have a cup of tea.